do microwave ovens work? And more importantly, how do the microwaves stay in the microwave? The simple explanation is that microwaves are actually too big to get out of the oven, but we can do better than that. So let's dig a little deeper into this hot pocket of science. Microwave radiation has several key properties that make it useful for cooking. First, it's not too risky to use at home because it's a form of low frequency, non-ionizing radiation, like radio waves, infrared, and visible light. This is opposed to dangerous high energy ionizing radiation like X-rays and gamma rays that have a relatively high chance of damaging DNA and causing cancer and a small chance of transforming you into a giant green rage monster. That's not to say that microwaves can't hurt you. After all, humans are much like hamburgers in the sense that we are both made of flesh. At high enough levels, microwaves can cause burns and other physical damage, which is why it's important to keep them contained. Second, microwaves interact with polar molecules, which are made of both positively and negatively charged atoms, causing them to spin. The extra energy from the spinning then radiates from the molecules as heat. In the case of food, these are typically water molecules, where the oxygen atom has a positive charge, while the two hydrogen atoms have a negative charge. But microwaves don't interact much with other kinds of molecules. They really just bounce yeah. off them, meaning that microwaves can be easily contained by, say, a small closed metal box. That's how microwaves heat just the food and not the surrounding air or the sides of the oven. This is also why it's not a good idea to run a microwave oven while it's empty. Without the water molecules in food to absorb the microwaves, they can end up damaging the device's electronics over time. As for putting metal in the microwave, well, it won't make the device explode, but pointed metal objects might spark due to electric charge building up at the tips, which incidentally is also why Guy Fieri's hair always looked like that. But hey, what about that window? Electromagnetic radiation like radio waves and microwaves can pass through glass, right? Well, we'll explain how that works right after we thank Tailwind for sponsoring this video. If you're trying to improve your social media engagement, it helps to have a plan. Tailwind is an app that simulates a full marketing team all in the palm of your hands. Generate a social media marketing plan personalized to your needs, leverage AI tools and design templates to create beautiful posts, and schedule your content releases so they come out when your audience is most responsive. Use their advanced analytic tools to see how your campaign did and make any necessary tweaks to improve and optimize. Check out Tailwind at the link below and leave your social media struggles in the dust. The reason why microwave ovens don't melt your face off when you look in the window is because they're essentially a kind of Faraday cage that blocks electromagnetic waves above a certain size from getting in or out. You've probably noticed that the window of a microwave door has a fine mesh embedded in it. Those holes are more than big enough for visible light to escape, like a mouse darting out of an elephant pen, but they're way too small for the microwaves to get through. Microwaves are quite a bit bigger than waves in the visible light spectrum, which are only around 400 to 700 nanometers long. The microwave spectrum is from a millimeter to 30 centimeters, or about 12 inches. Microwave ovens use a frequency around 2.45 gigahertz, which results in waves around around 4.8 inches in size, which is way bigger than these holes. These are simply not microwave shaped holes. A microwave oven is typically only unsafe if the door no longer seals, the device has a hole in it, or it has been modified to run with the door open as an ammo saving way to defend your compound in a zombie apocalypse. It's also an unsafe place to store elements like radium that emit gamma radiation, because gamma waves are small enough to get through the holes in the door's mesh. I'm hoping that none of you are currently storing radium in the microwave, but if you are, please stop. And don't worry about opening the door immediately after cooking. Microwaves travel extremely quickly, so they'll be absorbed into the food long before the door opens. Although waiting for a little bit does have the advantage of allowing any hot spots to dissipate more evenly throughout the food. But that's up to you and how much of an appetite you still have after I made you think about cooked zombies just now. That was a tech quickie, and it's over now. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it. Check out our other videos, comment below with video suggestions, and don't forget to subscribe and follow. It'll make me happy, maybe you too.